Dale. Dale. Hello. Can I have a word, lad, please? Yeah, sure. What's up? Where do we start, Dale? Where do we start? How long have you been working with us? Six weeks now. Six weeks, right. And you said on your circumviculi that you had previous experience working in a funeral parlour, is that correct? I worked with plenty of stiffs in my time, boss. <laughs> and you wouldn't be telling me any fibs, would you? I wouldn't have thought so. Only we've had a few complaints, Dale. That's not good, is it? No, it's not good. It's not good at all. Now, apparently, you changed the music on our answer machine to another one bites the dust by Queen, is that correct? Yeah. I just thought people in mourning might appreciate a bit of humour. They don't, Dale. They really don't. Right. So you just want me to leave the answer machine music alone? Yes. Not a problem. It, you also put a wireless Bluetooth speaker inside the coffin of a Mr. Leonard Babushka and played knocking sounds at his funeral. Coupled with a muffled voice saying, I is alive, I is alive, praise the Lord. That was on April Fool's Day and I bought that Bluetooth speaker myself. I just thought people like a bit of humour. You thought that the family might find it amusing? Yeah. Well, they didn't, Dale. They didn't find it funny. Mrs. Babu, 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 well, his wife, she suffered a stroke and we're going to be burying her next week. Right. So no more practical jokes then? No more practical jokes and no more Facebook posts. You saw that? To quote you, some fine ass stiff has just landed on my table and I think I'm going to be eating some prawn later. That's just Facebook though, it's just a bit of a joke sir, that's all. Oh, well, what about picture you posted? Don't know, shot. That's a prawn and a clamshell. Oh, really? Well, that explains this shot then, doesn't it? The shot where you've taken three dead bodies and turned them into lawn furniture. You even turned one of them into a bike stand. Do you know what? It took three hours to get rid of tyre marks. But I bought, I bought them back first thing the next day. You didn't even notice. Oh, you did. Mrs Jenner, she was missing her left foot. That weren't my fault. My mate Dave put her on the barbecue and then the dog had her foot off. It just got out of control. D -d Did your mate Dave have anything to do with the cremation of Mrs Young? Did he, Dale? Did he? I don't know what you're on about. Oh, well, according to your supervisor, you were asked to embalm Mrs Young, which you did, with £15 of turkey stuffing, apple sauce and port rind. It weren't discovered until bloody crematorium tried to cremate her. It took eight hours and place smelt like a bloody Toby in for three weeks. Do you know what, Dale? There's still bloody packs of dogs owned in place now. There is. Look, I just wanted to practice my Christmas rose. That's all. Don't say another word, Dale. Not another word. If it weren't for the fact that you were on a zero hour contract and you've got five kids, I would have to get rid of you, Dale. I would, and I'd have to bloody sack you. Come on, boss. It's getting out of hand now. Dale, why have you got your sandwiches on top of that dead body? It keeps them lovely and cold till I'm ready to eat them. You should see where I put the ice cream. I don't want to know, Dale. Do you know, I bloody love give up. Dave, it's me. Hello, listen, we can't do that ventriloquist show with them bodies. Uh, my boss is on to us.